Okay, and why do you both think it's important for people to talk to their politicians? Um, well, from, from my personal opinion, before I got involved in Hope for the Future, I didn't know what an MP was. And I had no idea that I could go to my MP and they could take action on my behalf. And I think it's really important, especially for the younger generations, to tell them that this is the case and that they can talk to their MP and they are there to act on your behalf. Um, and I think also from the constituent point of view, um, if you go to your MP with an issue, your MP might not have been aware of that issue before, so you're taking something to your MP which they can act upon on your behalf. Well, I would endorse that 100%. Um, one of the things about being an MP is that um, you really do want to meet people on an ongoing basis because if you don't, then obviously you're not going to have a very good reputation as an MP. So having a, a regular surgery as, as, I, as I do is important in terms of making sure that you do communicate with, with people, but also that um, people understand what an MP can do and indeed what an MP cannot do. I think that's also a, a challenge. Um, so it is completely right to say that you can come to an MP and say, this is an issue that I'm very concerned about. What can you do about this? And hopefully you'll get an honest response. But in the same way, you can come to an MP and say, you know, I want you to stop this change. And as it happens, the MP should then be honest enough to say, well, I agree with you or I don't agree with you. But at least you then have a discussion and a discourse. Mm -hmm. um, so from my perspective, um, engagement is important. And I think the, the other thing I'm concerned about, if there's one thing that really annoys me as an MP is when people say that MPs are out of touch. Mm -hmm. That really infuriates me because uh, of all the people I know in many different uh, jobs, um, MPs are actually involved with people on a regular basis. They've got surgeries. I deal with things ranging from a discussion about the environment to having concerns about the support being made available for managed guidance counselling or issues to do with um, benefits or immigration and that's all happened today. Mm -hmm. Now you know when you are an MP you have this opportunity to speak to people on a regular basis but I really want to make sure that people are aware that it's an open door policy certainly that most MPs have and certainly from my experience those MPs who are in the marginal seats which we're very lucky in North Wales, well, if you, unless you're a politician, we're very lucky in North Wales, every single seat in North Wales is basically a marginal seat, there is no safe seat in North Wales. So the opportunity um, is not just something that we, you know, we, we enjoy, it's something that we have to do, because unless you engage in a marginal seat, you're going to be out on your ear. So I, I've got an open door, and if that message can be conveyed, then you know, I'm very, very pleased.